so Hello. good morning, everyone. Uh, I appreciate it's morning uh, for the most of the attendance, and thank you for coming this early. I want to talk a little about a little bit about my teaching experience, uh, which I had this year. Like first time after a while, uh, I went teaching, and I decided to share some knowledge with uh, beginners. And uh, I wanted to share, I want to share what I learned about it. But in fashion of lightning talks, it's going to be more of like what did I learn about uh, C++ and uh, what I learned from teaching. To set the stage a little bit, uh, I did these uh, lessons as part of uh, C++ London University program, and uh, it's an organization uh, which is uh, providing evening classes for free for the beginners who want to learn how to program or how to particularly learn C++. Uh, and uh, most of the teaching is done by Tristan Brindle and Oli Dean, and I just joined like as a guest teacher to do a module on standard library. Um, and yeah, that's how it all started. I recommend to check out uh, CPP London Uni and especially their YouTube channel because uh, we also do streaming uh, when it's like when streaming is not let us down. You know, it's not always working. Uh, uh, and basically, we are starting and we are starting with uh, simple things. And uh, you can't get far in standard library without iterators. Therefore, I had to explain to beginners this probably unfamiliar concept. I remember for myself when I started learning, it took a while for me to get used to iterators and uh, it's not easy to demonstrate before I explain what it is. Therefore, like I made this little bit of like textbook slide. Yeah, it's like it's actually my slide, and it's actually me on the slide. You can see. Uh, and uh, uh, when preparing this material, I made a mistake. Not a factual one, but like in terms of explaining. Uh, some of you may have spotted already something unusual, and uh, this is this bit. Actually, before preparing, I didn't know that such a feature exists, uh, and uh, it was new for me. And like as a uh, teacher who is new to it, I thought like I need to be thorough. I need to follow textbook, and I presented this. And uh, like, despite I never used it, uh, and I actually like regretted a lot about it. I was quite frustrated about me doing this uh, because, as I said, it's a new concept, and like we needed to spend a lot of time on it uh, about iterators. And I want to talk about dereferencing, about incrementing and comparing uh, them, so like we can do loops and so on and do algorithms further. And uh, actually, most of the questions I got about this thing and questions were like, uh, I'm trying to figure out what will be the occasions where you need to use it. And I'm like, I don't know any occasions. Yeah, surely the most useful thing I ever taught. Uh, and uh, apart from it, the lecture went well, but I was really unhappy with this. Uh, and uh, the next lesson comes, and we are talking about strings. And I going through like textbook and doing the preparation about string construction. I figured out another weird thing. In brief, it's like if you provide, if you are slicing a string and provide two arguments uh, as numbers, uh, it's going to do the slice. But if you provide one argument for a C++ standard string or for a C string. You're gonna get like different results, either tail or head, and like I'm not gonna go into point arithmetics. Oh no, really? How I'm gonna explain it to people? Why? Why this inconsistency? And you know what? I decided I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it, and that's it. Uh, so basically, I decided to hide this material, and it all went well. It all went great, and the main outcome for me, the main takeaway, is that yeah, it's just like leave the. Uh, weird edge cases away and just uh, spend the effort uh, on uh, important stuff. But I have a little bit to add. After it, not related to the classes, I had like a random complaint from my colleague. He may probably recognize himself uh, as like reverse indexing. Uh, the, it is in Python, it's beautiful, and we don't have it in C++, and it's really frustrating. And I remember learning about it and having the, uh, like sharing the sentiment. It's really frustrating not having such an elegant thing in C++. And after what I've learned, and what I regret tell, uh, teaching other people, telling to other people, I actually had an idea that we can get this reverse indexing in C++, with C++ containers with random access iterators. Yeah, not the, most, uh, not the code which I would be most proud of, but still works. Uh, and I wanted to share this with you, uh, but it's just like a little digression. Uh, and uh, back to important stuff, important stuff. Focus your cognitive effort on the important stuff and forget about sharing like the weird edge cases for people who don't need it. And uh, that's it, uh, what I wanted to share. Now wrapping up, a few pointers. Uh, first, uh, as I said, check out uh, C++ London Uni. Uh, especially like you, if you are looking for some beginner's content, uh, it's really from the ground up. Uh, uh, Tristan is uh, talking about very basics of programming with C++ and going further to object-oriented stuff. Also, like I wanted to share 
uh, that Kate Gregory's talk provided a lot of inspiration for me when teaching and like doing really, giving really practical stuff without a lot of uh, old baggage. And also I wanted to point about uh, my uh, fellow teachers, uh, Tristan's uh, talk today. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I say I'm out of time and I'm done with my content. <laughs>